guys. So today is Wednesday, November 3rd at 5.55 p.m. and I wanted to film something just because well, one, I've been wanting to make a video. I just don't know what to film. There's nothing really to film. But around, yeah, I guess around this time of the day sometimes, or maybe like from here to like 9, 10-ish, I get kind of emotional or like sad or all of my sad feelings start kind of like coming up, I guess. I don't know. I just start questioning everything and just start like overthinking a lot more because during the day I'll like have class or I'll do work or go to the gym, eat, whatever. But then around this time I almost have like nothing to do or I could do stuff but I don't want to or I don't know, like I could study more, but I'm having such a hard time focusing right now. I could go socialize with some people, but I don't really click with my floor that much. Like some people on it I do and I really like and every everything, but it's hard. College has been hard for me. It's been hard finding my group finding my people but today especially things have gotten better i went to a club meeting where i uh painted this <laughs> little mason jar and i saw this girl that i knew from uh, high school she's a sophomore in college but i knew her previously and i was sitting near her and a couple other girls this one girl was in my logic class and i don't know how like it came about but the one girl that i knew from before she was saying that she had a hard time and is still having a hard time finding her group but she Okay, <laughs> so I'm not sure where I left off yesterday with what I was saying, but since yesterday, things have gotten better. So the past couple days, I have been having mental breakdowns and just feeling like I don't belong. And I've been comparing myself a lot to other people who go here or my friends from home who go to a different school and are having the time of their lives and I'm genuinely happy for them obviously but I guess I am a little jealous and wish I was having the same experience as they are but obviously that's unhealthy to compare myself to someone else but since yesterday things have gotten a lot better and of course it's gonna probably get worse again it's gonna be a roller coaster but right now I'm pretty I'm doing Okay, but yesterday I met this new girl and she's friends with uh, one of my friends here and she introduced us. She's so nice, so fun, and we're having a pretty similar, well, we're having like a somewhat similar experience, I guess, I don't know. But she lives in the same building that David lives and she like hates it there and she wants to move next semester. And my mom even suggested like that the same morning I met her yesterday, my mom said like, why don't you try and like move out next semester or something and like it's not the issue with like my roommate or anything like that and i honestly haven't even like talked to her about this so i'm like because i'm just nervous i i guess i think i'm bad at confrontation or like scared of it i don't know i never thought that was something that i like was bad at because i'm not afraid to tell like my parents something or like david but i think with people who I'm not super comfortable around or like I don't even know I don't know I don't know I'm rambling but um I haven't talked to her about this so maybe this is like really a bad idea because I know she watches these videos and she's probably watching this right now so hey it's not personal oh my god no I feel really bad <laughs> like I genuinely feel really bad if I I don't even know if it's like a thing yet or if it's even possible or whatever the fuck but like I'm just miserable and I think moving 
to a new location on campus and a new building would be good for me because right now I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm miserable, I hate it here, I wanna transfer. But at the same time, I don't wanna transfer because I don't wanna start over again. I don't wanna have to like learn a new campus, learn a new academic setting, like the new people, the new professors, everything. Like I don't wanna have to do that. And I don't necessarily want it to come to that point almost. And I'm trying not to compare myself as much. Yeah, I don't know. Just trying to remind myself that everything gets better. I don't even know if I should post this video because this is like, I don't know, like people from my floor like sometimes watch my videos, but maybe they only watch them when they're in it. <laughs> so hopefully they don't see this, but if they do, whatever. No, I don't know. I'm not like, I don't have anything personal against them, obviously. I don't know, man. <laughs> Life is hard. Life do be that way sometimes and I miss my kittens. Anyways, <laughs> oh, one thing I wanted to share was, so yesterday I went to a club meeting and it was painting mason jars and <laughs> I painted this. They also had like these things, these like Mandela, I don't know, it's like felt, it was honestly so relaxing and so therapeutic almost, like I kind of want to buy, I was looking on Amazon for more. I don't know if they make like coloring books of this or whatever, but like, I don't know. I really like how you can't mess up. Like sometimes with coloring, I am like, you know, it's more pressure, I don't know. But with this, you genuinely cannot mess up. I kind of want to get some more on Amazon and I think I'm going to. And I want to get some more markers from home so I can use them for that too. I'm trying to find something else like other than painting because that's kind of hard to do in a college dorm room. And there's like a lot of cleanup almost. Like I have to walk to the bathroom to like empty out my cup or like wash it out, you know, for like the paintbrushes and stuff. Wash the paintbrushes, which isn't that big of a deal, but like, you know, it's not super easy. I can't just like whip it out, put it away. So I'm trying to find other things like a coloring book or like this. I'm glad that I have this now to help with anxiety and stress. And when I'm kind of in that mindset almost, or like even if I'm having trouble falling asleep or don't want to be on my phone or on my iPad or whatever at night and I want to go to sleep to something else, like that I think will be a good outlet. Another thing I've realized, which is so common, when I'm stressed, I pick at my face like a lot i don't know why i didn't make the connection earlier but like my acne obviously has been worse than normal and stress can cause acne everyone knows that so i get acne from stress and then when i'm stressed i pick at my face and it's so bad and then my face is like literally destroyed and then i'm stressed because my face looks bad and i'm insecure about it and it's just a cycle so I got this new, I, you've probably heard of it, this is not sponsored, we know, we know this is not sponsored, but I got this new, like, I tried out apostrophe, because I was trying to find a way to get Accutane, like, online, without having to go to the dermatologist, because, like, like I said before, my dermatologist takes forever, so I wanted to try and find one online, so I tried out apostrophe, but they said that you can't do Accutane like that, because Accutane is a super hard, like, kind of process to do, you know, whatever, so I have, like, this new cream, and then I got this new sunscreen, and literally the packaging that it came in, and, like, the packaging that it comes in is so cute. I love everything about it. The website was super easy to use too and like honestly really good. Like this is, I haven't even, I literally tried the product for one day, literally today, yesterday and today was my first day using it. Yesterday was the treatment and then today was sunscreen and I literally love it. And look, it comes with these cute stickers that you can like put on your like bottles or wherever else you want to put them like they have like a.m and p.m and like a sun or a moon for when you should use your each product so that's super cute and i don't know i really like it so far but we'll see if it actually helps my acne i hope so okay anyways that's gonna be it for this clip i will talk to you later